<sighs> Help! Help! I'm gonna give you guys a ranch and then smothered, smothered in atomic sauce. It's not enough. Oh yeah. Hey, what's up my BGA crew? Welcome back to my channel. So today, you guys, we are going to be eating Wingstop and a loaded wedge salad, yo. And then, of course, we got some dessert right here. Oh, I have had a crazy day, and we'll get into that in just a bit. Let's go ahead and get started because I am stuavin. Father, I ask that you bless this meal, the hands that prepared it. May you provide for those going without. Heal, bless, protect, and provide for my BGA crew and everyone watching, Lord. In your precious name I pray. Amen. All right, you guys. Oh. So, yes, um, I have Wingstop. We have Ranch. I have the Atomic Sauce right here. You already know. You already know, Haney. I literally have been running around like a chicken without a head. Uh, um, so I was on my way to go buy fresh iceberg lettuce when I noticed two, not one, two of my tires are flat. So luckily there are some tire shops around nearby. So I didn't have to like travel super far and I drove super, super slow with my hazards on. I, I took side roads. So I didn't drive on the main street until it was absolutely necessary. And I ended up making it to this little tire shop. They ended up pulling a screw out of my first uh, tire, no lie, like 10 inches. I don't even know how that was possible. And then the second one had like a four inch nail. So they plugged it up, patched it up, whatever. And I have an appointment for fire, at Firestone tomorrow. But anyway, uh, let's dig into these wings because I am starving. Okay, this is a uh, lemon pepper. Oh, yeah. Come on, come to mama. Mm. Mm. This is my first meal of the day. Oh my god. Mm. <laughs> All right. Look at how big these ones are. All right. I'm going to give you guys a ranch and then smothered, smothered in atomic sauce. It's not enough. Oh yeah. Oh my god! Oh my god! Yo. Mm. Mm. That atomic sauce. That atomic sauce dough. Oh. Right there. Oh, look at that trench. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. It is literally 10 till 3 in the afternoon. That's my first meal. Okay, let me slow it down. So right here I have a gorgeous iceberg wedge salad with ranch, bacon bits, uh, red onion, a little bit of blue cheese crumbles, 
And we're gonna do some fresh cracked pepper. I like heavy. All right. And then we're gonna come in with the Tabascos. The Tabascos. Oh yeah, baby. Cob char blah blah. Cob char blah blah. Blah blah. <laughs> okay. Oh man. Mmm. Oh my god. Oh my god. Mm. Whoever would have thought something so simple. Mm. Oh, it would be so divine. Oh my god. Mm. I really. For those of you that have not had a wedge salad like this, I challenge you to challenge yourself to have a delicious wedge challenge. <laughs> I mean wedge challenge, wedge, wedge salad. <sighs> Life changing, bruh. Life changing. Oh man. There ain't nothing. Nothing like a beautiful wedge salad. Look at that. Look at that, yo. Oh no, come on, baby. Don't film me now, Annie. Don't film me now, Annie. <clears throat> oh my God. I can't stop eating this. Mm. So, so refreshing. Wow. I'm excited because tomorrow is weigh in. <clears throat> I'm so excited, y'all. Great parmesan. Mm. We focusing on eating today, y'all. I got, I wanted to share something with y'all, but we'll do it in a little bit. I'm starving. This atomic is fire. I can't believe it because the first time I tried it, it almost knocked my head off. It was so hot. I don't know if I grew an immunity to it or what. But now I can tolerate the heat. up and bite it should we do that yeah yeah <clears throat> let's get some more tabascos let's just pick this bad boy up and bite him okay here we go hold on mm.
This is hitting every spot imaginable. Anything you can think of that I've been craving, this just hit every angle of it. Okay. Help! 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 My way! What happened to me? Well, I blacked out for a little bit. Oh, wow. Where am I? <laughs> Y'all, this food will do that to you. So I just wanted to share that um, I don't know if any of you guys did over the holidays like the Ancestry.com 23andMe DNA test and all that to see your genealogy. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, I did mine, and I chose to do 23 and me because it goes a little more into depth. So it gives you like <clears throat> what you are in the broader spectrum and then it breaks it down by like subcategories for you like, oh, a little french fry, choo choo. Um, like for example, mine came back 60% European and then 30 or 32% native, <clears throat> Native American. And then the other percentages were, were mixed up. I had like 0.1% Sub-Saharan sub -Saharan African or something like that. <laughs> I was like, me? What? And then um, I think, uh, what was the other percent? 7 or 8% Askenashi Jewish came back. So the craziest thing though is that my genealogy didn't, I came back with zero German. I was like, what? That is insane. Like, what the heck? So I was kind of thinking about it. Well, you know, there was a, such a large presence of um, Jewish, especially Askenashi Jewish in Germany and in, in all of Europe, especially during the Holocaust. That was like one of the, the largest groups of, of Jewish people um, in, especially in Germany. So I'm wondering if that's where some of our ancestry is or whatever. It's really crazy. I don't know. I mean, I know seven or eight percent is a small amount, but still, you know. And then, um, I have zero Asian. Can you believe it? Y'all, I always say too, I was eight, born Asian in a past life. La da dee da da da. I love Asian food so much. And it came back, I was devastated. I was at least thinking I was gonna have some Filipino or something, 0% Asian. Mm. 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 
wow, this is amazing. Mm. But yeah, and then my 60% European broke down to, I think it said Spanish, Portuguese, and Italian. So yeah, I don't know, that was pretty cool. Let me know in the comments below, have y'all ever done a genealogy test? Like 23andMe or um, Ancestry.com? Again, I'm not sponsored by these companies. I'm just sharing my experience. Mmm. Oh, wow. I think it is so cool because it gives you insight. On your past. On your ancestors. Mmm. However, I think the only way it works though, from what I understood, is you would have to have I'm like a savage dog. Um, I went on Ancestry.com and I did their trial. So I went on Ancestry.com and I did their um, their trial for uh, Ancestry. Like um, whatever information you know or you have, you put it into the system and it'll start finding like relatives and stuff. Your ancestors, your grandparents, great grandparents. Hmm. And as far as it goes, they don't, it's only uh, <clears throat> United States or if you, or if your ancestors had just arrived, <clears throat> either, you know, from Europe or from South, uh, Central South America, Mexico, whatever. And it actually shows you photocopies of like senses. I found senses from like the late 1800s from my mother's great grandmother. My mom is a f uh, fourth, I believe fourth or fifth generation American. Mm. So there's a long trail of my mother. I was able, I think the, as far as furthest as I was able to go <clears throat> was my great, great grandmother and, um, or my great grandmother, one of those. It was pretty cool. Even, um, I came in contact with some relatives of mine from that side of the family that I never knew. And they had pictures of, you know, my mother's grandmother, my mother's mother, Mm. And they were asking me questions. Like, hey, how do you know? What is your acquaintance to, you know, this family or that family or this last name or that last name? Honestly, it's all just your family members trying to put the pieces of the puzzle together. Hmm. Oh, you ain't escaping, baby girl. Get your ass right there. Get your ass right there. Mm. Mm. 
I'm gonna go to another ranch right here. This one right here, for all of you that love the garlic parmesan, an extra ranch. But I really think <clears throat> like a lot of us should do it. Like, you know, explore. And then you're gonna get those people that are like, uh-uh, I'm not giving up my genealogy information to the government. I'm not gonna let them track my DNA. Blah, 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 honey. You think they need to come up with a third-party company doing genealogy tests to get your hair follicles, your blood samples, your dental records? The government has all of that, baby. A lot of medical, those of you that have, like, especially government-funded um, medical and all that, who do you think that gets reported to, honey? The government! And the reason why I say that is because I've had so many people argue with me, like family members of mine, like... Mm-mm. Don't do that. You're giving away your information. I'm like, honey. I'm like, baby girl. You gave away your information at birth. Mm-hmm. But... The government has access to all that, so no, y'all don't listen to the naysayers and the the crazy people. It's just fine, you know. Mm. Mm. Oh my god, you guys! Mm. Mm. I know this is so messy. This is a, the lettuce is so crisp and juicy. Mm. Oh my gosh. You guys, get you a wedge salad. Make it, for, make it at home, you guys. A wedge salad, this cost me no more than $5 to make. I bought an onion for $0.67. Cents. The head of lettuce was a dollar. Um, the bacon bits was $1.39. I bought the Kroger brand. The ranch was $1.29 because I used a tub of this. <laughs> and then, um, I already had blue cheese crumbles. You can leave out the blue cheese if you don't want it. So, yeah, I say under like five, six bucks. You can make this a whole head of lettuce wedge salad for your family. I think one head of lettuce can do four servings. So... I remember I'd go to one of my favorite restaurants back in the day. They don't have it anymore, but um, I mean, they have the restaurant, but not the salad. A native native New York or native bar and grill. And they used to have the best wedge salad. And they took it away. And I remember they would sell it for like, I think it was like nine bucks, 10 bucks for a wedge salad. And you can make it at home for under five or six for four people. That comes out what? To like a dollar fifty each person, something like that, dollar twenty-five. Mm-hmm. Dang y'all. I'm full. I think I got what three wings left. Look at how big these suckers are. Huge. That's gonna be a little midnight snack, Haney. Let's move on to dessert. Cause if I eat anymore, we ain't gonna have no room for desserts. Desserts. Okay. So right here, this is a birch bender brownie. I, I made the cupcakes. 
last week the cupcakes were phenomenal that's a whole different bag they have a brownie mix and they have a cupcake slash cake mix i did put just very light frosting on this one but look at that oh my god it's crusty on the outside and soft and gooey in the in the middle mm. oh yeah mm-hmm mm -hmm. oh my god you guys please get your birch benders and make it at home mm. those of you that are low carb diabetics mm. this square um, so the box says you can use an 8x8 or a 9x9 pen, <clears throat> and you're supposed to cut them in 12 pieces. I said, the little piece is going to be this big, and it's supposed to have three carbs. I said, no, I want a good, I want to feel like I'm eating a good chunk of brownie, you know? Not a one-biter. So I cut it in nine. Hmm. So each serving went from three carbs to four carbs, which I'm okay with. Mm hmm Bomb. Mm-hmm. Wow. That was bomb. <laughs> All right, you guys. I highly suggest... You go out right now and get you some bomb wing stuff and make you a fresh, crispy, delicious wedge salad. I promise you, you will not regret it. Load it up with whatever you want, Tabasco, fresh cracked pepper, onions, blue cheese. If you don't like blue cheese, baby, use mozzarella. If you don't like mozzarella, use Parmesan cheese. Let your imagination run wild. Bacon bits, onions, whatever you want, load it on top and enjoy enjoy it oh my gosh i want you guys to to get the this flavor but anyway also too don't forget to pick up your birch benders i'm not sponsored by them but i stand by that company and their delicious products like i said before my mom is a diabetic any little carb or sugar affects her glucose her sugars go up with this one she could eat a whole brownie and enjoy it enjoy herself and her glucose are leveled they don't spike as always thank you so much to my bga crew for your love and support i appreciate you if you're new here you know what to do hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you're notified every time i upload a video or anytime i go live thank you guys so much for watching until next time besitos